Mrs. Patterson. And you? Uh, I'm Mary. Mary. What brings you in today, Mary? Well, I've just kind of been having trouble sleeping lately, and I was hoping maybe there's some medication that I could take, or I don't know. I just, I need something. Okay. Is this something that's developed recently? Have, or have you always had trouble sleeping? No. Usually I, I can go to sleep pretty easily, but the last few months I've just, I just lay there and I just cannot go to sleep. Okay, are you are you thinking about things that's preventing you from sleeping, or? Um... Well, kind of. You know how your mind sometimes you just can't shut it off. You you think about different stuff, but even in the past, I was able to go to sleep. So. Okay, um, you say even in the past. What's what's different from the past than than now? What's is there something different in your life? Well. I retired about seven months ago. I see. And thinking that, you know, I was ready, but now I just, I don't want to get up in the morning. I don't want to have to to start my day. I, I just, I don't want to see people. I don't know. And, and that's kind of not, that's very hard for me. Tell me what a typical day's like for you. Oh. <laughs> uh, well, usually I will get up early, but now it's, I'll, I'll get up and, and sometimes I'll eat breakfast, a lot of times I don't, and then I I just kind of want to go back to bed, and a lot of times I do, I just because there's my husband's already left for work, so, you know, I just kind of go back and, and try to sleep, because a lot of times I am tired because I didn't sleep at night. Right. And then I just, I mean, there's things I need to do, and, you know, I sit there and I look and I think I need to wash clothes, I need to, you know, do housework, and I don't want to. Okay. When you were working, um, these things got done then? Uh, yeah, because I guess I was more on a schedule. Right. Because I knew that I had this time that I need to get this done, and now I feel like I've got all day, so why hurry and get it done? Okay. Uh, your husband, does he work eight hours a day? Is he home for lunch? Yeah, most of the time he does come home for lunch. Okay. So now what happens then? Well, I try, you know, I kind of watch the clock, and when I see it's almost time for him to be home, I try to kind of pull myself together because I don't I don't want him to see that I'm kind of having problems. Okay, so you don't think he realizes uh, the severity of, of your I situation or how you're feeling? I don't think so because I, I don't want him to worry about me. Right. So I try to, you know, how you do, you just try to go on. Right. When you were working before, before your retirement, I, I know you come home and you had to take care of the house and everything, but surely you had other things that you did in, in your free time on the weekends. What was it that you enjoyed then? I like, I, well, I love to read. Okay. Um, and that's what I do a lot of the times. And both my husband and I, we like, you know, we like uh, to go like to a, a baseball game or a basketball game, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And... Um, that's pretty much, I mean, I probably have other things, but those are probably most of what I do for okay. a day. And are you not reading much now? I, I haven't found a book that will hold my interest. I pick it up and I start reading, and I just, I get like one page. Not and I'm interested done. in and Yeah, I just haven't found so one. So you don't find the, the joy in reading as you did no. before? No. Are you finding that true with several things that you used to do? Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. Um, like I say, one of the things that, that we've always enjoyed doing, going and seeing a, a game together, and when he suggested, I'm like, oh, okay, okay. But, but my heart's not really you in You almost it. have to make yourself yes. go. Yeah. Um, tell me about your job. What was your job? I worked at the college, and I interacted with the students a lot. I handled, um, they had to come pay their tuition and stuff with me. So I got to to know the students pretty well, and and we had several students that lived on campus, our athletes lived on campus, so they were in the office quite a bit, and you know, you kind of get attached mm -hmm. to them, because they think of you as mom, right? because they're away from home for the first time, right. so, you know, interacted with them a lot, I guess you could say. Okay, so you kind of miss the students probably more than anything about your job, yeah, other than the so. routine? Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, and you miss your coworkers to a degree, too. Yeah. As, um, is this a local college? Yes. So, um, do you know, is there any kind of program at your college uh, that 
you could still have interaction with students as not as an employee, but is there anything there that? Well, we do offer a, uh, we have a, a, like a tutoring lab kind of thing that mm -hmm. students can come into and, mm -hmm. you know, if they're having difficulty with different classes and, you know, I hadn't really thought about that they're always looking for volunteers mm -hmm. for that. You know, I hadn't really, hadn't really thought about that. Yeah, and with you being a former employee, um, you know the ins and outs of the college. You, uh, you know the students, most of the students that are there now. Um, so that might be something that you want to think about. Okay. Um, tell me about your children. I have a, a son and daughter, both grown and both married. And I have no grandchildren yet, but I think that someday I will. But, you know, if, if when, when they're ready. But um, they're both, uh, they live two hours away. And so, you know, it's kind of hard. I don't get to see them daily. I talk to them a lot, but right. I don't get to see them daily. You know, it's kind of, we always have to make arrangements, pre, you know, ahead of time. And so, you know, I, it's not that I don't see them, but it's, you know, it's not the same as when you when they lived closer. It is. Um, you kind of lit up when you said you hope to have grandchildren <laughs> sometime. Tell me about that. What do you think that it's going to be like to be a grandma? Oh, I don't know. It's uh It'll be fun, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um, I hope that I would be a good granny. My sister is very good, and I admire when I see her interact with her ki with her grandkids. But I don't know. So, but you must have some. Um, tell me about what you think as a grandma. How would you interact with your well, grandchildren? Well, I had a, I had a real close relationship with my grandmother. There you we go. spent. A lot of, you know, in the summer when we were out of school, we were at her house all the time because we got away with murder. <laughs> Whatever we wanted, right. you know, we got to do. And I would like to be the right. one that spoils them rotten and sends them home. So you really think that a grandmother or a grandparent's role in life is very important yes. to a child? Yes. Yeah. Well, I know it was in my life. Right. I know it was very important in my life. Right. Because they were always there. You know, you could kind of talk about things with, right. with them that, you may not talk to your mom and dad about so right well that'll that'll be great when that time comes and like you said you have to wait till your children are ready but when they are it sounds like you're ready to fill that yeah. role of grandparent so that's that's neat um are there other will there be other grandparents involved with the other sides of the families or anything that, with my son no uh the girl that he is married to um she well there's a father, but she did, she hadn't had a relationship with him since she was a little girl. I see. So, I don't think that they would be. Okay, so very for active. that set of grandchildren, you and your husband will be the the sole grandparents right. to fill that role. Right. Yeah, that's going to be very important. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> and fun. It it, yeah. it will be fun. Um. What about to, at home? Um, you have friends that you you know that you interact with, have pets, animals, uh, anything. We had a dog, but we just put him to sleep. He, you know, okay. but we he was twelve, so yeah. you know, it was still hard because they become such part of the family. Right. And so there's that little hole there too. Right. That that he's not there, and you know you still open the door thinking he's going to come running right. to the door, and he's not I there. Know. I know. But uh, and. Uh, we've talked about getting another animal, but both our children have dogs. So when they come, we have animals, and I'm thinking, oh, I don't know if I really yeah. want to have, <laughs> for a lot of have another one. Yeah. Does your city have a shelter or something, uh, some kind of animal clinic or things they, that accept volunteer help? Well, we have a shelter now. That, you know, I hadn't thought about if they need volunteers, um, which is probably true. They probably need people to help you know, walk them or feed them or, you know, mm -hmm. I don't, I hadn't really thought about it. I hadn't really checked into that. Okay. Well, what I would like to do, I'd like to see you again. I'd like to talk about and get a little more depth so I can get to know you a little bit better. But I want to hold off on the medication part right now. Um, let's, let's uh, try a few things before we go that route. Okay. So, is that okay? Um, I'd like to, if you get with the secretary, I'll schedule you again and we'll get a little deeper. Okay? Okay. All right. Thank you, man. Thank you.